This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question is asking us that the observation that the, these quasars, these distant bright galaxies, are more numerous at great distances, so distances which implies earlier times just because it's space, um, it's asking us what this observation would support. So let's look at our choices. So first choice, supports the steady state theory. But the steady state theory actually tells us the opposite. So tells us that the, the large scale structure of the universe looks the same, not only in each region, but also in different areas of time. So this, so the fact that there are more numerous um, distant galaxies at great distances and earlier times in space, that's the exact opposite of what the steady state theory tells us. So that's not gonna be good. Choice two, supports the idea of an initial explosion 14 billion years ago. So we see this 14 billion years ago in the Big Bang Theory. And it says that recent evidence suggests that this event occurred really, really long time ago. But we don't mention these um, these quasars and the fact that they're more numerous at great distances. This is just talking about the Big Bang Theory, so that's not going to be accurate. Choice three supports the observation of the cosmic microwave back background radiation. So that's also mentioned here. And this is just the Big Bang Theory predicts that this happened. So this has nothing to do with these quasars, so that's not going to be good. So as we see, our choice four is our only answer left, but it's the opposite of that choice one. So it's actually going to go against the steady state theory because if there are quasars that exist, they're more numerous at great distances, they're more numerous earlier in time, that would, that would presuppose that the universe has been changing. So the steady state theory in which the universe looks the same in different eras of time would be negated by this, um, the existence of these quasars. So choice four is our answer.